Welcome, my friend. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Now I meant to get this video out on April Fool's Day, but I've been very busy with college and also with post-production for my fan film, The Fallen Apprentice. I hope to deliver some amazing news on the film soon. We all know Anakin's hatred for Sand. I wanted to do a fanfic on what if Anakin actually loved Sand. I figured it would have made a great video for April Fools. Again, I know I'm a bit late. Before we go any further, the Force FX Elite Lightsaber giveaway is still in effect. Just drop a like on the video, subscribe, hit that bell, and comment below. Let's begin. Anakin Skywalker sat alone on the sandy dunes of Tatooine, his home planet. He closed his eyes and breathed in the warm, dry air, letting the grains of sand tickle his skin. To most people, the sand was nothing but an annoyance. But to Anakin, the sand was his first love. Ever since he was a child, Anakin had been drawn to the sandy terrain of Tatooine. He loved the way the sand felt between his toes, the way it glittered in the sunlight, and the way it shifted and swirled in the wind. To him, the sand was a living thing, constantly changing and adapting to its environment. Anakin's love for sand was a source of amusement to his friends, to his mother, and to Watto. They couldn't understand why he spent so much time playing in the sand, building sandcastles and digging tunnels. But to Anakin, the sand was his sanctuary, a place where he could escape the harsh realities of his life on Tatooine. As he grew older, Anakin's love for sand only deepened. He spent hours studying the patterns of the dunes, marveling at the way the wind sculpted them into intricate shapes. He collected samples of different types of sand, examining them under a microscope to learn more about their properties. Anakin's fascination with sand even extended to his work as a mechanic. He loved working with the fine grains of sand that got into the engines of the pod racer he built and repaired. He found it a challenge to clean the sand out of the engines and he took pride in his ability to do so quickly and efficiently. Anakin's love for sand was a constant presence in his life, even when he became a Jedi. When he was on missions, he would take a moment to feel the sand between his fingers, grounding himself in the present moment. And when he was meditating, he would visualize the shifting patterns of the sand, letting them guide him into a state of deep relaxation. It wasn't until Anakin reunited with Padme that he realized just how unusual his love of sand was. Padme had grown up on the lush green planet of Naboo, and she couldn't understand why Anakin was so obsessed with the gritty dry sand of Tatooine. At first, Anakin was embarrassed by his love of sand. He tried to hide it from Padme, fearing that she would think he was strange. But as they grew closer, he found himself opening up to her about his love of the sandy terrain of his home planet. To his surprise, Padme didn't judge him. Instead, she listened with fascination as he described the intricates of sand, and she even joined them on a few trips to the desert, marveling at the beauty of the dunes. Anakin's love for San became a source of connection between him and Padme. They would often lie on the sandy dunes, holding hands and watching the stars above. And when they were apart, Anakin would send Padme samples of different types of sand, telling her about their properties and what they could be used for. Despite the joys that Sam brought to Anakin's life, there were also moments of frustration. Sandstorms would often sweep across the desert, covering everything in a layer of grit and making it difficult to see or move. But even in those moments, Anakin found a strange sense of comfort in the swirling chaos of the sand. As Anakin's life took darker turns, his love of Sam remained a constant. Even when he turned to the dark side and became Darth Vader, he would still find solace in the sandy terrain of Tatooine. He would often visit the planet in secret, feeling the grains of sand beneath his feet and letting the wind whip around him. It was during one of these visits that Vader encountered a young boy, Luke Skywalker, who was also drawn to the sandy landscape. Vader recognized the boy as his son, but he couldn't bring himself to reveal the truth to him. Instead, 
He watched from afar as Luke explored the dunes. As Vader's life drew to a close in Episode 6, Return of the Jedi, his thoughts turned once again to the sand. In his final moments, he remembered the feeling of the sand between his fingers and the way the dunes shifted and changed. It was a small comfort in a life that had been filled with pain and darkness. In the end, Anakin Skywalker's love of sand was more than just a quirky personality trait. It was a symbol of his connection to his home planet, his sense of wonder and curiosity, and his ability to find beauty in even the harshest of environments. It was a reminder that even in the darkest of times, there was always something to be grateful for and something to hold on to. For Anakin, that something was the sand. I hope you guys enjoyed this absolutely ridiculous fanfiction. I had a lot of fun writing this one. I hope you all laughed with me and if you did, as always, leave this video a like and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day and may the force be with you.